Hey y'all and welcome back to another video. Today's video is different because it is over three hours of cleaning motivation. Tons of decluttering, tons of cleaning, tons of organization. I know you guys are going to enjoy this one because it is non-stop cleaning over three hours of motivation y'all. So if you need the motivation to get up and knock out your spring cleaning, decluttering, or organizing, turn this video on your TVs, your tablets, or any other devices and let's clean together. This video is just jam-packed with so much motivation. We are doing tons of cleaning, decluttering, and organizing in the basement. We are doing some cleaning in the bathrooms. Also the kids rooms, the master bedroom, we are just cleaning, decluttering, and organizing all over the entire house. Next week, I'll be bringing you all new motivation. I'll be starting my spring cleaning series, but I hope you all enjoy the three hour cleaning marathon. Now let's get to it. Hey y'all and welcome back to another video. Today's video I have a huge clean declutter and organize with me in the master bedroom. It is a hot mess up here. So many clothes everywhere as you can see but we are going to get it all right, get it all back looking nice and then on the first day we'll just be decluttering the clothes because the clothes are just out of control and I'll just be making some changes, organizing, a few things and then on the next day we will be just cleaning doing some decluttering in the office area and organizing so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you do enjoy it don't forget to like the video drop me some hearts down below or comment let me know what you are up to while watching and subscribe if this is your first time here today so sweet but you're dynamite i just want to dance with you feeling that burn i'm not getting out yeah yeah so i did start this decluttering process before christmas was over so you will see christmas stuff and then on the second day which was filmed like two weeks from this time this day um i was putting away a lot of the christmas things so yeah, you will see a few Christmas PJs here and there, maybe some socks or whatnot, but I'm pretty much separating the clothes. I will be hanging it up on this new rack shelf that I got. I think this is my first time filming in my room since I've gotten it. I've shared it over on my vlog channel, but this is the first time on this channel, but it has been good to me. You guys know if you've been around for a minute, there is not much storage space anywhere in this house. We pretty much have to build everything or make it more functional, I should say. But yeah, we don't have a lot of the, we're not, I don't know how to explain it, but it's not what we're used to. We're used to large closets. Even though we've been in military houses, the closet space in the master bedroom was very much functional compared to this house. So I had to buy that rack for clothes because I do have a lot of clothes and I did not get rid of any clothes on this video but I did separate the clothes by summer clothing fall clothing of course the winter stuff will stay out and then I had some clothes that were a bit too small for me and I'm not going to give them away because I do plan to lose a few pounds I've gained several pounds lately in the past few months so I'm not going to get rid of that stuff but yeah that's what I'm doing I hope you guys do enjoy today's huge declutter, clean and organize with me. I hope it gives you tons of extreme cleaning motivation. I hope everyone had a happy new year. Let me know what you plan to declutter this year. Take it away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is 
where I wanna be Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough Like I mentioned earlier, I do have a lot of clothes. They are everywhere, y'all. In our room, it's just a hot clutter mess. But I will not be getting rid of anything. And normally, when I do get rid of things, it's like usually when I'm doing laundry, I might find a hole or something, and then I'll just throw it away or stain. And I just throw it away like that too. I don't know if I'll do another like clothing declutter because I do plan on keeping everything. But this is like episode one of the new series. We are minimizing again this year, especially because we are getting ready to move very soon, y'all. In about five months, not five months, I think about four months now, they will be packing up our house, y'all. So I know it's gonna go by super, super fast, but I do plan to minimize every single bedroom so that will be fun i hope you do enjoy the new series i hope it gives you tons and tons of motivation on my channel i have a couple of more series since living here in germany of me decluttering the house and yeah it has been quite the journey Say I'm as cold-hearted as they come You think I'm slowly No, no, no Cutting my ties with you that I'm done
So here I am pretty much just going through stuff and changing out the hangers so they'll look um, the same color. I did the white on top, black on the bottom. It's not that serious. I don't know why I did all of that this day. I was also kind of like losing light because I did start this video a little later on in the evening. So and it gets like dark here around 4 o'clock. Not 4 but almost 5 o'clock it gets dark here in Germany. But um, you will see that I do change this again. I put the pants up top and then I put the jackets and stuff below. I do plan to change it again, y'all. I wanna put the jackets inside of the wardrobe and then just put my shirts over there at the bottom. I think it'll look much better and it won't look as busy and just bulky. So yeah, I will be changing that up soon. If you hear what I'm saying, you know to a place. Boy, can you prove there's much more to you?
is all around, so baby, what's your hurry? You don't have to prove us to anyone. You don't need to worry. Who don't love seven? So I did tackle like two drawers, didn't do the top drawer, that's personal stuff, but I did go through the bottom drawer just trying to see what's in there. As you can see, I could barely open up the drawer and then the pajama drawer just getting it all nice and neat and organized. I am a little late, but I always forget y'all, I always, always forget to introduce myself if you are new here. I'm Ryan Michelle. I'm a military wife and a mom of three. On my channel, you can find tons of cleaning, decluttering, and organizing all over my whole house. I just enjoy having a clean and clutter-free home, although sometimes that is impossible around here, but my mission is to have a clutter-free home. One day, and I've been doing tons of decluttering over the years, that's pretty much in my channel, tons of decluttering. We just have way too much stuff. Doesn't help to keep buying stuff. So that's one of my new year resolutions to just stop buying stuff. That's my issue. And last year, I would say it was really the clothes. I really overdid it with the clothes. It's been a month since you that I need company I'm losing it losing my way only get through when it's you plus me I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry honestly can't you just call me where you at where'd you go babe let me fix my mistakes wish you could be here right now lay here by my side all day all day all day tell me it's gone
This is all of my workout stuff, holiday pajamas. This is summer clothing, two small pile, and fall stuff. I'm going to probably put all of this workout stuff back in here. I just wanted to sort through that real quick, put this stuff back in here, and then go and get the bins out of the basement and start folding and putting it in the bins. y'all so this is another day day two like I said it's a few weeks in between and I'll be pretty much decluttering cleaning and organizing the master bedroom we are not touching the clothes today I have a little bit of laundry to get folded but over in this space I just really wanted to get inside of that um, organizer bin thing it was so cluttered tons of paperwork that I do not need anymore and so I was just really trashing a lot of the stuff over there. A lot of journals that I just kept around that I wasn't using anymore. Just a lot of junk, y'all. So I'm just getting rid of that stuff. I hope you guys enjoy it. 
I hope it's giving you tons of motivation to get up and tackle some cleaning, organizing, or decluttering around your house. I have a lot of perfumes. I don't have a lot, but I have a little bit of a collection. And I keep my boxes because you cannot, the movers will not ship it. So I'll have to ship it in my luggage. And I, that's what I did when we moved here. My husband has a little collection too. So that's what you see here. I won't be getting rid of those boxes because I need them for when it's time to move again. Decluttering this space really felt so good, y'all. Like getting inside of there and really going through every single thing and just getting rid of it. It felt so good. The next video, we will be decluttering a lot. It will be on the kids' floor. A lot, okay? Because y'all know Christmas just came and they got more stuff on top of the other stuff on top of birthday stuff it's just too much stuff but we will be in the basement soon as well because y'all already know that basement is always chaotic so i'm just giving you guys a few videos to look forward to in the month of january
Pretty much all of the surfaces were very junky, like the dresser, the nightstands. They're pretty junky, y'all. So, yeah, it's a mess. It was a mess up here. I tried to make sure everything was clean and tidy before the new year, but yeah, some spaces just got a little bit out of control. It was actually worse than this. Did you know the first part of the video? It was a mess up there. So, I was able to get that under control before the new year came and the the dresser well the furniture i wanted to talk about that we do plan to stay overseas again if you've been keeping up with my blog channel i told you guys that we wanted to stay overseas for several reasons i explained that i'll leave it linked below if you missed that one but um if we do get what we want and stay overseas i don't plan to buy any new furniture so if it is not broken we're not gonna mess with it we're not gonna get anything new so yeah i wanted to tell you guys that if i do get any new furniture it'll just be something small something minor just like the shelves that i got in the living room something like that i don't we don't plan to get like any major make any major purchases especially with furniture if we do plan to stay overseas also um the bedding i had already changed that before the new year so i wanted to um just keep it on the bed it wasn't time to change it just yet so i just made my bed in this video I do plan to organize the underwear drawer one day I'm not sure when of course I'll do that off camera but I do plan to keep those bins up here so I just stuff them inside of that blue hamper and that hamper has my workout clothes I'm not sure what to do with the workout clothes just yet so they'll probably be hanging out in that bin the hamper for a little bit but I gotta try.
All right, y'all, so this is like the last stop. I'm just tidying up a little bit out here, and then I'm going to vacuum and mop, and I'll be done. I hope you guys enjoyed today's huge declutter and clean with me. I hope you got tons of motivation, and I will see you guys back on my next video, whether you're watching in the morning, the afternoon, or the evening. I hope you have a good one. Bye, y'all. Oh, but kind of new, but kind of tell me you're feeling it too, babe. Yeah. And I've been like yesterday. Oh, but kind of new, Ooh. tell me you're feeling it too. Ooh. And I've been like yesterday. welcome back to my channel if you are new here I'm Ryan Michelle today's video is a new year reset we are doing a complete disaster clean in the kids rooms today we are decluttering cleaning organizing every single thing in each of the kids rooms so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I hope you get tons of extreme cleaning motivation we are starting off in Lauren's room her room is a hot mess and it's so much trash and stuff all over the floor we'll be going in the toy bins and really decluttering organizing we're just going to just declutter her space and make it look so much better and clutter free i hope you guys enjoyed today's video It never hit you Our conversation takes to Paying it some interest From time to time Inside all that greatness And all of your adventures You're all alone Hold up, hold up, baby I can sit beside you While you're going on About your simple life Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different Don't give up. Nothing sticks to me. 
So this did take about two days to just reset the kids floor. I did everything but the bathroom and that will be coming soon in a future video. But this day I did not get to finish all of the bins because Lauren um, was coming home from school this day and I started a little bit late. So I was only able to get through like two of those bins. I am going to get rid of those bins because she has colored all over them and stickers all over them. It's just a hot mess. And it's also not good because we just throw, and I say we because I do clean her room as well. So I like to just throw in all of the toys in there and it's kind of hard for her to play with her toys and find stuff with so much stuff in those bins. So I plan to get rid of those bins. So I will be coming back in here in just a second. I just wanted to remove the bedding so I can wash it before I deep clean the room. And I'll be doing that a little bit later on. And also I did move the bed to the back because Landon, he doesn't have that much space to play. And he is really loving Legos. So this gives him a lot more space to just play with the Legos. And now I'm back inside of Lauren's room to finish the bins.
So underneath the mattress and the bed was pretty filthy. So I will be sweeping up all of this stuff, vacuuming, and then I'm going to mop because it was just a hot mess underneath here. I don't know where all of this trash came from. Lauren is a little clutter bug too. She likes to bring in her work and stuff. And she's also been a artist lately. So she has been drawing all over everything. I don't know where this is coming from, y'all. She hasn't always been like that, but it just seems to get, it's getting worse. So we have decided to just take all of the markers, crayons, and all of that stuff and put it up and not just leave it out for them. Sad that the boys have to suffer because of Lauren, but it's just the phase of life that we're in right now and it'll go it will pass So if you are new here today, welcome to my channel. I'm Ryan Michelle. I'm a military wife and a mom of three. On my channel, you can find tons of cleaning, decluttering, and organizing. I make videos just like this one all the time where I'm decluttering, organizing, and cleaning my entire house. This is a new series where I am cleaning and decluttering, trying to get prepared for the next move. We will be moving this summer you guys so that is so exciting i'm looking forward to it hopefully we shall be finding out where we are going this month and i will update you guys as soon as i can i am slacking over on the vlog channel because i have been just just exhausted and poop just trying to reset my house for the new year especially like going in and out of each room decluttering organizing just minimizing as much as i can before the next move so yeah, but if you enjoy motivational videos like this one, definitely hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you guys. For all of my loyals, thank you guys so much for always coming back to each and every video. I truly appreciate you. You come home to me once you travel the world, all the spaces inside your heart.
I'm not really getting rid of much stuff in the closet. I'm just organizing it a little bit better because it was very cluttered like all over the wardrobe. So you already know we don't have that much space to work with. So I'm just trying to just organize it a little bit better. It has gotten so cold this week. Let me know what the weather is like where you live. But here we have reached like under the 20s this past week and it has been extremely cold so Lauren does go to school and I'm trying to just put away like a lot of her thin material clothes because she does need the thicker stuff because they do go outside and play so that's what I was doing here And 
here's everything that came out of Lauren's room that we are getting rid of. We did get rid of a lot more stuff, but the stuff was like coming from the basement. So when I do the basement video, I will share with that with you guys. Now we are moving on to Landon's room. It may look a little different because he did clean his room since the first time I shared, like in the before clips, the first time when I changed the bed in, his room looks a little bit different because he did come in here and he cleaned, cleaned his room. I have been making the boys clean their rooms like a lot more than it was but they are enjoying the separation they have more space and they can just enjoy their rooms by themselves like they are loving it and the way they organize their rooms is is really nice and you can see a little bit this one right here this bin is a hot mess but the shelf Landon has his legos all nicely organized and i won't be touching too much of that stuff because i did end up breaking one but here I'm just creating different piles of things that I think is broken, trash, um, donations. Just I'm just creating different piles, certain like Legos, um, Pokemon cards, all of that stuff. And you guys will see how I have it separated in just a second. I think this is the first time I've deep cleaned their rooms like since Christmas stuff. So you will see certain stuff. It's like all of that is like the pines from the fake Christmas tree. And yeah, they room their room really needed the deep clean because it was a hot mess. Even their bed in, I have just been slacking. Life has been life in. And a lot of the things that I used to do weekly, I've just been having a hard time keeping up with it. It has been a struggle but here's the bookshelf i actually found this bookshelf on facebook i think i got it for like ten dollars it's a bit worn and you know used but it's perfect for landon because he is the rougher one and he destroys a lot of things so this is perfect for him and he loves it so hopefully it does survive the move and if it doesn't we'll just find him a new one but he absolutely loves the shelf and he loves lining up all of his legos but I was wrong yeah. mm. I never thought that maybe I needed a friend You have always been there together till the end I thought that all I needed was someone to hold But I was wrong Falling in love ended in disaster No such thing as happily ever after love ended in disaster Start now. 
I hope you all are enjoying today's New Year Reset on the kids' floor. I hope that it is giving you tons of extreme cleaning motivation. If it is, drop me a comment down below or you can drop me some hearts, some green hearts. And also like the video and subscribe if you are new. I know that this is all about deep cleaning and cleaning the kids' rooms, but I hope that it's still giving you tons and tons of motivation to get up and tackle some cleaning with me. video also helped me really see what is in the closets what does not need to come to the next place and how to like organize it and just have everything just in order for when the movers come and pack our house I did do some packing myself I already started that I packed up the fall stuff in the basement and boxes like like my um, fall glass decor I already packed that stuff up in boxes so the movers don't break my pumpkins, okay? But I'll be sharing that when I get down to the basement area. But I have already started a little bit of packing. Before we came here, I did pack cleaning supplies. I do not plan to do that again. I just want to pre-pack the items that do mean a lot to me, like a lot of my glass decor. So, yeah. And I'm back in this drawer again because I realized that a lot of the clothes were going to be too big for landing this summer, this year. So I just decided to pack a lot of the bigger items, things that he still needs to grow into in this bin. And I'll be putting it in the wardrobe.
Now it's time to declutter and reset Travis Jr.'s room. He just got some new bedding. Well, I've been bought the bedding. I'm just putting it on his bed recently. I just put it on there. So I didn't have to change any of his stuff either because when I changed Landon's, I changed his stuff and washed his stuff. But his room was the easiest one to clean. He is the cleaner one, the less messier one. He is a little messy, but he's not as messy as the other two. But his room was really easy to clean and just declutter. He does have a lot of stuff on the floor. And I'll be organizing that a little bit better inside of the wardrobe. Tonight is all for you and me So baby. 
also try to pay attention to the clothes that you know he does not go for and doesn't wear so that's what i was doing here just pulling a lot of the shirts out he still does wear short sleeve shirts in the winter he is he picks out all of his clothes so i don't really have to do anything for him if that's what he wants to wear that's what he wants to wear but landon and lauren i still like pick out their clothes so it's a little bit different and then he had a bunch of christmas pajamas and stuff that i wanted to take out and put in the basement but yeah his room was it was really easy Bathing in the light that you share, you like the sun. Who am I to think how it be if you were mine? I've been walking with my shades on for so long, I can't seem to get them back on. Cause ooh, how I fell in love, couldn't see it coming best in my stereo. I can feel it coming, you on my radio. All I'm hearing is a song. y'all so we are near the end of the video i'm just going to clean up this hallway space it's a little bit junky on the floor a little filthy but i'm just going to get that cleaned up really quickly and that's it for today's video this is episode two so i cannot wait to see you guys back on episode three we will be tackling the basement and i just hope you guys are getting tons of motivation if you miss the first um, video the first episode I will leave it down below I did tackle the master bedroom and decluttered it and reset it as well so yeah I hope you guys love the video enjoyed it if you did leave me a big thumbs up subscribe if you are new leave me a comment down below and I'll see y'all back on the next one whether you're watching in the morning the afternoon or the evening I hope you have a good one bye y'all from your life, so you stole my life with clarity So hold me back, now you're here Cause I'm mad, show no fear Wanna let you know just how it felt Oh no, 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 no Don't you, don't you think we're good There's a way we could be, no Oh no, 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 no. I know the way you look at me I know it too well
Hey y'all and welcome back to another video. Today's video is a massive complete disaster clean with me. I will be doing a massive declutter down in the basement, but this is going to be part one of the basement, but this is part three of my getting ready to move series. So it feels really good getting all of this done. Everything will be clean, decluttered and organized before the next move. That's my goal. Hopefully I can make it happen, but so far so good. We are moving right along, but here I'm just going through each container in the hallway, not all of them, but a few containers in the hallway to make a little bit more space for when I start decluttering the middle room. Before I wanted to show you guys some things that we did get rid of before I started this video. Here on the screen is a few pictures of what we got rid of. This was some stuff that came from kids room upstairs and some stuff that was in the basement, but we really needed to get it out before I started declaring the basement again. Yeah, he sets my body in motion. He just, he knows how to turn things up. And he knows what gets me going. Yeah, like a little text saying, hey, what's up? They look at me, I'm in a bad situation. Look at him, he's got a bad reputation. They be looking at us, thinking we are too much. Look at me, I'm in a bad situation. Look at him, he's got a bad reputation. They be looking at us. Mm. Why do I need to be good all the time? I'm wrapped around his finger, but he is mine. Don't care what they say, too late anyway. Why do I need to be good all the time? Yeah, he gets when I'm in a bad mood Then he, he knows how to make it all right Yeah, I get that he got a history But I don't wanna think about no other than us They look at me, I'm in a bad situation Look at him, he's got a bad reputation They be looking at us Thinking we are too much Look at me, I'm in a bad situation Look at him, he's got a bad reputation They be looking at us mm. Why do I need to be good all the time? I'm wrapped around his finger, but he is mine Don't care what they say, too late anyway Why do I need to be good all the time? So if you are new here today, welcome to my channel. I'm Ryan Michelle. I'm a military wife and a stay-at-home mom of three. On my channel, you can find videos just like this one where I clean, declutter, and organize certain spaces of my home. We are getting ready to move really, really soon in the next few months. We still don't know where we are going yet. Hopefully we find out really soon. I'll be sure to update you guys. I'm super excited. I did record a vlog, so I'll be uploading the vlog sometime before we get into February. But this is the middle closet and it is a hot, hot, hot mess, y'all. It's so much stuff in here. I told you guys on one of my older videos that I did already start boxing up a few things like my home decor, my glass home decor, my fall decor, Christmas decor. And I'll just be taking everything out and making a little section so I can start pretty much decluttering different bins and boxes. We are decluttering a whole lot today. And of course we are looking out for the spiders. And also thank you guys so much for 22K. I truly appreciate each and every single one of you guys. Thank you so much for following me along on my journey through Germany. We were in Virginia last. I just appreciate you guys so much. There is no silence. I wish you'd never let go. All this moving in the zone. I'ma lose it out of control. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looking so sweet, but you're dynamite. I just wanna dance with you. Feeling that burn, I'm not getting out. Yeah, yeah. Baby, you make me lose my mind. Maybe you wanna stay the night. Time goes fast. No 
Thought that I care, nothing can change that Talk to me, babe, fight for me, babe I need you to hear me Never have I felt this way so sweet but you're dynamite i just want to dance with you feeling that burn i'm not getting out yeah yeah baby you make me lose my mind maybe you want to stay the night time goes fast Some of you may be wondering why I decided to go ahead and box up some things is because the movers do unpack our house and they destroy just about everything not all the time but sometimes we don't get as lucky and they will break things a lot of things were broken on the move here so the things that I really love and cherish I decided to go ahead and box them up and package them myself and then they will just probably put them in like a bigger box or whatnot I'm not sure yet but I did do that when we moved here I packaged up a lot of things but some stuff the ones that I packaged up it did make it y'all but hopefully this stuff will make it and I'm just going through different sections like I said pulling everything out just trying to figure out what is in just these corner spaces of this room. We do like to just throw stuff in here. And as you can see, it's just not working out. No, we will never be that good again. Don't drag it out. Skip the innocence. Things will never be the same again. No, I got all that I need. No need to apologize. No to a 
This section right here is where it gets really crazy because it's so much junk in these three containers alone. I'm a hoarder too, but Travis has me beat. He has so much stuff and it's just crazy to me like how much stuff he will hold on to. Like he will hold on to 30 HDMI cables like it makes absolutely no sense to me like I, I just don't understand maybe it's a man thing I just don't understand it like that's something that you can run back to the store and get but I I don't understand it so I will be going through all of the cords and all of the junk in that green bin and I'll pull it all out and then he will go through I told him to come downstairs and go through because I cannot work with him <laughs> I'm just being honest with y'all I cannot work with Travis when I'm decluttering, especially on camera. I can't work with him. So once he got through and went through everything, I'll be coming back again on day two to finish up what he did not do. I would never judge, don't you ever say you're sorry. I don't mind if you don't mind it. Sharing all your secrets with me. Cause ooh, how I fell in love. Could it see it coming back? bin is right here Travis came down and he went through some stuff and this is what is left over this is the stuff that we're keeping in this bin and then he put his stuff in there it's some stuff over here that we're keeping too I just don't know what to do with it like all these little tablets and remotes and I just and then we have some laptops over there like I don't know like where to put them 
because we don't use them anymore. I have to figure that out. But so far, this is what it looks like over here. It looks really good. This is everything that Travis put back inside of here that he needs, I guess, still. And then I'm going to take care of this stuff back here as well. And then this stuff. Okay, so the other ring light gave out in here, so it's a little darker in here. But um, the suitcases, luggage, that stuff will be going back inside that middle room. I just had to make space for it and um yeah So for day two, I am not wearing gloves. I forgot where I placed them. So I couldn't buy my gloves, y'all. And I just, I don't know. I really prefer to clean without gloves, even though it's really hard on my hands when I'm doing so much stuff. But I don't even have nails on. I took my nails off and I'm taking a little break. But um, even if I did have my nails on, I probably wouldn't have gloves on. I don't know. I just don't really care to wear gloves. Honestly, sometimes I do it for y'all. I don't want to hear it in the comments <laughs> just being honest but um yeah I don't really like to wear gloves like that let me know if you can relate or do you wear gloves when you do all of your house chores let me know down below and let me know what you're up to while you're watching today and if you are enjoying the video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and drop me some green hearts down below and also subscribe if you are new here today
So we do like to keep our DVDs in the DVD player because it comes in handy when it is time to move and setting up cable, a little period in between. We like to give the kids the DVD player, but now a lot of times we could use like the, um, the other devices like the Xbox and stuff like that, but every room doesn't have an Xbox or a PlayStation. So we do like to just hang on to the DVD player. In disaster, no such thing as happily ever after love and dead in disaster, disaster. Do 
So not much has changed in here. Um, this box over here is like full of toys that we do plan on keeping. So I'm hoping to find another um, storage box bin to put that stuff in there. And then this Christmas tree I plan on selling. So I'm going to leave it out. This side right here we will be diving a little bit deeper inside of here because it's two Christmas trees in here that we will be getting rid of. So, um, yeah. And then these boxes, I'll probably end up throwing this one away. This one is for the pressure cooker. So we might keep that. I don't know, y'all. But we really have to get inside of this and get this cleaned. And it's a bunch of other little stuff that needs to be cleaned as well. Well, decluttered as well. But um, we did clear out the bins that were right here. So as far as this room, it is pretty much organized. I know what's in just about all of these bins somewhat. I know that I've went through this stuff and decluttered this stuff. So I should not be in here touching anything. Um, I don't decorate for Valentine's Day. I don't decorate for um, Easter. But there are some Easter baskets down there. But... When the time comes, I'll just pull that out. Easter, we got, what, another two months? So all of this stuff is pretty much organized, decluttered. And I can I just cannot find the lid for a few of these containers. But, yeah, and then all of the bigger stuff right here is military stuff. Hopefully, Travis has to come in here and get anything. He doesn't make a mess. But I put the luggage over here. Then I still need to go through these three bins that's all that i've done in here and i will see you guys back on part two of the basement hopefully we can get that up next month but i will see you guys on the next one Bathing in the light that you share You like the sun Who am I to think how it be If you were mine I've been walking with my shades on for so long I can't seem to get them back on Hey guys and welcome back to my channel If you are new, I'm Ryan Michelle Today's video is a two-day filthy house clean with me In this video, we are tackling my filthy bathrooms They are a hot mess Day one, I'll be taking care of the primary bathroom. And day two, I'll be taking care of the kids' bathroom. So the kids' bathroom was actually filmed before I filmed the, my bathroom. But the quality was just not there. And I actually had to go back to use my other camera because I just can't seem to figure out my new camera. But we are just starting off by pulling every single thing out of the bathroom so we can give it a really good deep clean. There is also mold all over the ceiling again. I just, yeah, 
we have about four months left in this house and it usually only comes around when it's extremely cold outside but yeah i've just learned to just deal with it but it's a lot of mold in the shower as well but like i said the bathroom is just really filthy today and um, i hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to like it if you do enjoy it drop me some green hearts down below or comment let me know what you are up to while watching today and subscribe if you are new here personally love using foaming sprays because they just they're just good for deep cleaning and let me know what cleaner you prefer to use but I have noticed that the American products do not clean the bathrooms as well as the German products I mean it makes so much sense but sometimes I don't have any German products on hand but I really need to like restock a few German products because these products that I'm using today just did not work that well. And I'll explain a little bit more later on.
you've seen me scrub the bottom of the tub the shower already but that grime was just not coming up and then it's like grime inside of the toilet bowl I don't know if it's from like the water I am not sure but it's like a very caulky material and I'm gonna go inside of the toilet and actually scrub with a scrubber and of course I'm gonna throw it away but it was just not coming off and this rag of course I threw this rag away because it had been a minute since I had like really cleaned my bathroom really good so I went ahead and threw that one away too. The thing that really helped out the tub was Dawn Power Wash. It got it right up. I did have to scrub just put a little bit of arm work in with it but it got it right up. I wasn't able to get this stuff out of the toilet so if you have any type of suggestions recommendations let me know. Goes 
fast, I don't care I've known you long enough Baby, you make me lose my mind Maybe you wanna stay tonight Time goes fast, I don't care I've known you long enough When we go, we lose track of time You and I, we can stay inside Time goes fast, I don't care I've known you long enough Yeah, I wanna get there, I wanna get there Just take my hand, yeah I wanna Now that I'm waiting for the floors to dry in the bathroom, I'm just gonna do a really quick declutter of the things that are out here in the floor area. Everything that's going back inside of the bathroom, of course, I'm gonna get it back in there. And then the things that we just don't use all the time, but we do use, I wanna put it on that white rack. And then the things that we just don't touch or the bottles are completely empty, I'm just gonna go ahead and just trash those things. This is a mistake. I know about tomorrow I don't want to fight no more Cause I don't feel the need no more, no Just want to make it stop Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I Wish you the best and say goodbye You start to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna hurt But not as much as this does We had a good run Don't say we didn't I was your first love And you were my first one Cheers to all the memories The venom and the remedies, yeah Promise I won't forget All right, so I hope you guys enjoy the cleaning of my bathroom. This is all of the trash that came out of my bathroom. It was a lot. Now we're moving on to day two, which is in the kids' bathroom. It is a hot mess in here, especially on the floor area. The floors were so bad, so filthy. We're gonna get all of that deep cleaned and really just deep clean the entire bathroom inside of this white cabinet we're just going to declutter in there as well organize some things remove some things and just really get the bathroom all nice and clean i'm pretty much using some of the same products that i use in my bathroom like i said i recorded this video first so you will see me struggling and trying to figure out how to get the bottom of that tub cleaned because it was the same situation the grind on the bottom it just builds up so fast and if you're not on top of your cleaning it will get really bad my poor plant she has passed away so we just went ahead and threw her out as well i will show you guys once i finish all of the things that we got rid of in this bathroom i bleached this bathroom down as well because it needed it y'all found the champagne by the door all my favorite things, they were there except for you, you were gone Now I'm here all alone and I really wish you'd just pick up your phone Called you like a thousand times, you saw my name and it declined Pick up, pick up, told you once, I'll tell you twice Pick up, pick up your life Every text I sent was red So 
to you But you're gone Now I'm here all alone And I really wish you'd just pick up Your phone Called you like a thousand times You saw my name and it declined Pick up, pick up Told you once, I'll tell you twice Baby, I apologize So pick up But you're gone Now I'm here all alone And I really wish you'd just pick up Your phone Called you like a thousand times You saw my name and it declined Pick up, pick up Told you once, I'll tell you twice Baby, I apologize So pick up also mold in the kids shower as well that is one thing that i will not miss i will not miss these bathrooms they are the hardest to clean and they drive me crazy that's why i really don't like to clean them because it's such a pain to clean them
how I feel And in my sight Nothing is for real But it's a fact Without you I'm half empty Can't get over you how hard I try So the moment I saw you I lost some control One look into those eyes Could keep my soul I'll be closer but then suddenly I truly hope you all are enjoying today's filthy house cleaning. I hope that this video is giving you tons of motivation to get up and tackle some cleaning around your house or your bathroom. If your bathroom is as filthy as mine were, I hope that this video just gets you up and moving and motivated to tackle some cleaning. If you are new, I'm Ryan Michelle. I'm a military wife and a mom of three. We are currently living in Germany and we are getting ready to pack this house up and head to the next location within the next six months or so. And I cannot wait to bring you all along on the journey. I did just upload a vlog, so if you missed that, I will leave it down below so you can check it out. I just explained the places that we picked to go to. It's not guaranteed that we will get the places, but these are the places that we want to go. So yeah. But if you missed it, I'll leave it down below. And if you are new, I make videos just like this video. Tons of cleaning, decluttering, and organizing all around my house. And of course, I'll be getting ready to just prepare my house to move really soon. But I hope you enjoyed my video enough today to hit that subscribe button. All right, so now it's time to organize this cabinet. So this is how the kids have their things organized in here. Toothbrush, mouthwash, everybody has their own situation going on because we don't need any arguments in the morning about anything. So everybody has their own stuff in their own caddy. But it was time to just pull it out, deep clean it because they have toothpaste all over the place and mouthwash and a bunch of other nasty stuff. So I just went ahead and deep cleaned it for them. And then I'm also replacing a bunch of toothbrushes, toothpaste and all of that good stuff.
fever, I know, I know Nothing would remain and you don't wanna go, so go Cause you're big in your place, no time to waste I wanna love you but life doesn't wait You can stay here and waste away You need to taste every mistake Fall out and get up again and again Again and again and again and again I'll be with you always You don't need to be afraid And I'll meet you up, I'll meet you at the I'll be with you always You don't need to be afraid I'll meet you up, meet you at the end Out of everything that I cleaned in these two days, the kids' bathroom, of course, was the worst. Like, their floors were just really nasty, y'all, and they needed some serious cleaning. And then their shower was really bad. It was much far worse than the primary shower, our bathroom. But yeah, the kids' bathroom is always a lot of work. But the kids do clean the bathroom once a week. They just don't do a cleaning like mommy does. But their bathroom was pretty filthy. Let me know which bathroom you thought was the worst. Was it the primary or was it the kids' bathroom? But that's it for today's video. I truly hope everyone enjoyed it. And I will see you all back on my next video, whether you're watching in the morning, the afternoon, or the evening. I hope you have a good one. Bye, y'all. Hey y'all and welcome back to another video. Today's video is a huge clean declutter and organize with me. We have so much to get done in the basement today. This is part two of the basement declutter. We are minimizing a whole lot today. Decluttering a whole lot. Tons of extreme home organization. So if you need some motivation to get up and tackle some cleaning around your home, I hope that this video motivates you to get that done. But I did film this huge declutter video over the course of two days. Here is the boxes of Christmas trees. And we are just getting rid of them boxes, y'all. I got rid of all three Christmas trees, but I will not be working on this side. I'll actually just be taking some things out of the box so I can pile things in the box to haul off. All right, 
right, so making our way in the laundry room. We are only working in the laundry room today. Really getting rid of a lot of stuff. The stuff that I have bagged is just stuff that I plan to sell, but it didn't sell. And that's when I just hate selling things because people don't pick up stuff and they say they're picking it up. I'd rather just drop it off at the thrift store and go on about my day. We also have a ton of reusable bags that I did get from the thrift store like when I buy things. So we just have so many. So I did go ahead and put some things in those bags to haul off. Y'all, we got rid of so, so, so much on this day. You're taking my hand, leading the way, staying the night. Looking at you, making your move. No silence. I wish you'd never let go. All this moving in the zone. I'ma lose it out of control. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looking so sweet, but you're dynamite. I just wanna dance with you. Feeling that burn, I'm not getting out. Yeah, yeah. Baby, you make me lose my mind. So if you are new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Ryan Michelle. I'm a busy working mom of three. On my channel, you can find tons of cleaning, decluttering, organization, just tons of motivation all throughout my whole house. I am starting to really declutter a lot, minimize a lot because we are getting ready to move. We do have a lot of stuff. It's just crazy about like just the amount of things that we own and I am trying to do better this year. My problem, my previous problem that I did have in the past year, I just buy a lot of stuff and don't get rid of anything. It's just too much. So I do plan to stop purchasing. I probably say this every year, but y'all, I am doing really well this year. I guess I'm just tired of like the same cycle, I guess. But y'all, we are about to stop and I'm going to share a candle haul with y'all. Baby, you make me lose my mind. Maybe you want to stay the night. Time goes fast. I don't care. All right, now let's get into the candle haul. I told you guys on my last video that I'll be sharing a candle haul on this video. It took forever for my packages to come this time and it was just crazy because Valentine's Day is over with. I didn't even get to burn my candles, but it's all good because I will be burning my candles in the future. Ebony LeMay is the owner of Luxurious Ambiance. She is also one of my besties. I love her to death and she always sends me over candles. The candles that I'm showing on the screen are from the Homebody collection and one was from the Fall collection. And now I'm about to get into her latest collection, which is the Be Mine collection. And y'all, it smells so, 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 so good. And these wax melts are the cutest this year. Did y'all see the love sign on the wax melt? I mean, so cute. And unfortunately, her Be Mine mini set collection is sold out on the website. But you can still get the candles in the regular size, like this one right here. Every single one smells so good. And she also sent me over some room spray. Oh my God, I'm just so in love, y'all. It smells, everything just smells so good. And I know this was a very quick candle haul, but my schedule is just so busy. And this is just not a normal candle haul for me. But y'all know, I am telling the truth. Everything smells good. Shop her website. Hurry up. It's a limited edition. You do not want to miss out on her Be Mine collection. Everything smells so, 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 so lovely, y'all. Lover's Quarrel is one of my favorites from this collection. Ebony also has a YouTube channel. Subscribe, subscribe. You can just get all of the latest info on her new collections and anything else, her sales. Just anything, y'all. She will usually let her YouTube channel know first before anything else. So definitely subscribe to her YouTube channel. 
I'll have it linked down below. And also her website and all of that good stuff will be all down below. Y'all, I am getting over a cold and it's driving me crazy like hearing my voice in this microphone. But yeah, let's get back to the decluttering. We are going through every single thing and getting rid of stuff that we have not touched in the last six months, okay? It's actually been longer than that, but yeah, we are gonna get rid of all of this stuff out of here today. Originally, I did have a full series. I was going to make a full series of every single room being decluttered, but the basement is taking longer because it's just so much stuff down here. So the basement just might be its own little series in one. But y'all, we have so much to do down here. We are not even halfway done in the basement. We still have the hallway boxes. We still have the other room on the other side of the basement. We just got a lot to do. In this basement i cannot believe how crazy this basement got we also have another storage closet and then we got the garage we got a lot to get done y'all before the next move still no info no update i'm sorry i'm just 
it's just driving me crazy at the waiting game. It's just driving me crazy. I told y'all about this last time, but it's driving me crazy. But wherever God chooses to send us, I'm okay with it. But I wish we would just know by now. We should have known by now, but it's all good, y'all. But yeah, I, like I said, I'm going through every single thing. Also, let me know what you are up to while you are watching today. Are you cleaning along or are you just watching for motivation for later? Let me know. I got rid of so many pillow covers this day. I didn't think I would that would ever happen because I have been obsessed with pillows forever, y'all. I still have my favorite ones, my pillow covers, but I got rid of so many. And I don't know if you remember on my last video or in my recent videos in the living room, I only have three little pillows on the couch and that is such a big step for me. So yeah, I'm okay. We don't have any decorative pillows on our beds. Like, I'm just over the stuff. Not saying I'll ever go, not go back to, you know, pillows. But as of now, I am very minimal about the pillow collection. Don't deny that I could use some company. you guys enjoyed day one this is everything that we got rid of y'all this is a lot of stuff 
It's crazy. It's crazy. And half of it, I don't even remember. So we didn't need it. And then now we are moving on to the other side, which will be taken care of on day two. I hope you guys are getting motivated. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Drop me some green hearts down below. Something to say to everybody who wear, wear whatever I want Dressed in a gown, everybody's like, why are we going nowhere special? Just going to the store, I think I'd have it all, tell you why I've been more Picking a plate, being a plate, she is unruly Never seen her like this, didn't think it existed, no truly I'm getting away, she's not in a place, she'll get moved Take this girl for being me Cause these are dream rules This is someone else I'm not myself On day two, I did get rid of a lot of stuff as well. I'll be going through the medicine over there and putting that in a different storage, clearing the floor. The kids' artwork, I did save that stuff and I put it inside of a bin. But I really got rid of so much stuff on this video, y'all. I'm so proud of myself, but we have a long way to go, okay? Such a long way to go. And a lot of this, like, school stuff, not really school stuff, but puzzles and stuff like that, we just have not gotten around to do. So I did go ahead and put that stuff in the thrift store box as well as the paint stuff we have not touched this stuff y'all in like seven years why do we still have this stuff i don't know and even if we do decide to paint again one day we can just go back to the store and buy it again but right now we're gonna give it to somebody else and maybe they can have fun with it but right now it's collecting dust basement and yeah it was just time for it to go she is on a road. She is on a road. Never seen it like this, didn't think it existed, no truth. Don't get in the way, she's not here to play, she'll get moody. But don't mistake this girl for being me. Cause these are dream rules. This is someone else, I'm not myself, no, no. Mm -hmm. Cause these are dream rules.
climbing all four walls in my apartment I can't spend another second with my brain Gotta get up and get out, but there's a problem Every time I go outside, I see your face Wish you could be here right now Lay here by my side All day, all day, all day Tell me it's gonna be alright We gonna work it out No way, no way, no way The floor is cold It chills my bones I'm all alone So may see you It's been a month Since you've been gone I'm all alone So may see you Hey Yeah I'm so missing you Where you at? Where'd you go, babe? Can't you see that I need company? I'm losing it, losing my way Only get through when it's you plus me So on the shelf, I'm just trying to organize it a little bit better Minimize it, of course Just go through, declutter things that we don't use Especially like the hair product stuff A lot of that stuff was just empty Okay, why am I holding on to like three drops of shampoo? I don't know But we just gonna go ahead and get rid of that stuff, throw it away um, I did save some stuff but I don't know if you know, but you cannot save this stuff. You have to get rid of it before you leave unless you pack it on the airplane. But they do not ship certain stuff. Um, I'm not sure. Like hair products. No, I don't think they ship hair products. I, I don't know. It's been a minute. So I don't remember. But I know they don't ship candles, um, perfume, certain stuff. They just don't ship cleaning products. But they'll ship canned goods. I don't know, y'all. It's crazy. But yeah i don't want to talk the entire thing if you do have a question about something that i declutter just let me know in the comments i just don't want to just go into detail about every single thing you know but if you do have a question just let me know This container held so much stuff for the longest and I don't know why we have 300 pairs of scissors for the kids I don't know but it is time to minimize and I cannot like why did I have so much stuff like it's ridiculous so we cleared out this thing today and it felt really good do you see the big old bag of all the stuff and this pile right here is going to the stairs and then I'll just show you guys an overview of everything that I got rid of. You don't have to prove us to anyone. You don't need to worry.
All right, y'all, we have reached the end of today's huge clean declutter and organize with me. I hope that you truly enjoyed it. If you did miss part one, I'll have it linked down below so you can catch up on the basement situation because this is a mess down here. It's a hot mess. And this is the after. I shot this from my phone because I couldn't find my camera, y'all. It was in a very crazy place. But I couldn't find my camera this day. So this is shot from my phone. But I hope you guys enjoyed the transformation of the shelves, the floor. Just thank you again for watching today. And I'll see you all back on the next video. Whether you're watching in the morning, the afternoon, or the evening. I hope you have a good one. Bye, y'all. Your favorite one is blue Do you even care When I stay Oh baby Can you You're taking my hand Leading the way Stay in the night Looking at you, making your moves, there is no silence. I wish you'd never let go. Hey y'all, and welcome back to another 6 a.m. early morning clean with me. We are starting off with some laundry, and then we will be headed upstairs to tackle tons of cleaning, decluttering, and organizing. My house was a bit of a mess this morning, but we got it all nice and cleaned. This took about maybe two hours to get done. I am a busy working mom now, so I really don't have time to do my deep cleanings throughout the day. So the mornings have been good to me and also a late night. And I'll be doing a late night clean with you guys really soon. But on this clean, I am cleaning the living room, the dining area, and the kitchen. I'll be doing a little bit of deep cleaning in the living room, lifting up the couches, getting underneath the rug. And I always try to do a deep clean underneath my table because it can get a bit disrespectful underneath my table. So I'll be doing that as well, moving the table and cleaning underneath. If you are new here, I'm Ryan Michelle. I'm a military wife and a working mom of three. On my channel, I do upload tons of cleaning, decluttering, organization, and a little bit of home decor inspiration here and there. We are also getting ready to move from Germany really soon. Not sure of the location yet or the date. So I will update you guys when I do find all of that out. But I hope you enjoy today's 6 a.m. early morning clean with me. And if you do, don't forget to like the video, drop me some green hearts down below, and let me know what you're up to while you're watching today.
this 6 a.m. clean was filmed on an early Sunday morning and I really wanted to get my house clean because I do like to cook Sunday breakfast. Saturdays are usually very long, basketball, just a lot going on on Saturdays. So I'm usually pooped by the end of the day. So it's kind of hard to stay on top of the kitchen sometimes because man, the kitchen is out of control some evenings. I try to stay on top of it y'all, but I am human. Sometimes life happens and I'm not able to clean my kitchen like I want to clean my kitchen at night but it's okay it will get done I don't like to dwell on stuff that I don't have any control over so yeah I get to it when I get to it All right, so we are moving on to the living room area. It was not that bad over here, but like I said, I wanted to do a deep clean in the living room this morning. So I will be moving the couches and I'll also be moving the rug. I think for my last early morning clean, I only used a robot because it was early and I didn't want to wake anybody up. But this video, I went ahead and used the vacuum cleaner. It didn't wake anyone up, but yeah i didn't want to use it but y'all i had to use it because i had to vacuum the rug i do need to do a deep clean on the rug but we'll save that probably for some spring cleaning coming soon and let me know if you guys have already started your spring cleaning i think i'm going to start mine in the kitchen as always because the kitchen is just a very high traffic area and it needs to be cleaned deep cleaned at least every other month so i'll probably start my spring cleaning in the kitchen. Always dream of you when spring comes. It's like the heat on my skin takes me back to the time. Met you on a Friday, halfway out at the door of the club, playing so long the weekends. Stayed in bed till Wednesday. I don't know if you guys can tell, but my poor plants are dying in the back. I just haven't had the time to take care of them lately. I 
we just can't take them with us. I, that's not a reason to, you know, let them die. But we just haven't had time to take care of the plants, y'all. So they are slowly just dying. Hopefully, now that basketball season is coming to an end, I can take better care of my plants when I am at home because I work all day long come home and then basketball but like I said it's coming to an end so hopefully I will have a little bit more time to give my plants some extra loving because they truly need it All right, now we are moving on to the kitchen area. I need to unload this dishwasher and load it back up. I could not figure out if the stuff was clean or not, but it was clean. So I just went ahead and unloaded it and then I'll be loading it back up with the dishes that are all over the counter and in the sink. It's really not that bad, y'all. It's just a little bit cluttered. It's not filthy or nasty in the kitchen. It's just messy and cluttered. Throughout the week, all of us really stay on top of the house, including me, my husband, the kids. Everybody stays on top of the house. Sometimes spaces do fall short, but we really try to stay on top of the main areas like throughout the week but for the weekend like I said it does get a little bit more hectic and crazy and this is just one of those days and that's why I chose to share the messy days with you guys why would I share a clean day with y'all there will be nothing to clean so where would the motivation come from but anyways I always get crazy comments about do my family help why am I always the one cleaning 
Everybody cleans y'all. I'm not the only one cleaning, okay? I, I promise you. This morning, I also did a quick wipe down of the cabinets, the knobs, the backsplash, just a really good clean in the kitchen. I don't know if you know, but if you watched my last video, I was a little bit under the weather. Yesterday, I woke up feeling a little groggy again, but I feel so much better today. But I do work around a little one, so I'm always catching what they have. So yeah, I've been taking my vitamins and trying to pull it together because yeah, something is going around and it is not pretty y'all. my other video where I cleaned the bathrooms 
I needed like some type of help y'all recommendations suggestions with the water buildup because it is horrible here the hard water and we used to have it like right here on the drain tray thing on the sink and I used the CLR to get it up and it worked like a charm I don't know why I've never purchased that stuff before I think I purchased it before in Virginia but I feel like it didn't do anything but it really worked on the sink area and it's back looking extra extra shiny so if you live here and you have really hard water I know it may be hard for people who are not military to access um, American products but I'm pretty sure they have a version I just don't know what it is to kill the hard water build up or whatever but if you are military grab you some CLR it saves a whole lot of time and effort and everything else it works wonders y'all we've reached the end of today's 6 a.m early morning clean with me i hope that it gave you tons of motivation to get up and tackle some cleaning around your home if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave it a big thumbs up subscribe if you are new and leave me a comment down below and i will see y'all back on the next one whether you're watching in the morning the afternoon or the evening i hope you have a good one bye y'all